The Milwaukee Admirals return home to the BMO Harris Bradley Center tonight to take on the Rockford Ice Hogs. It's Milwaukee's first home game since January 30th, a 7 3 victory over the Grand Rapids Griffins in that contest. Since then, we've had the All Star break and a pair of games in California. The Admirals won the first one, 7 3, at Bakersfield, but the last contest, last Saturday, lost 4 1 at San Diego. Still, the Admirals coming into this game 28 14 3 0, good for second place in the Central Division, just behind the Ice Hogs, who they play tonight. The winner of tonight's game, if it's in regulation, will take over sole possession of first place in the Western Conference Central Division. One of the big reasons for Milwaukee's success this year has been the play of second-year defenseman Jimmy Olney. Olney is a plus 16 on the blue line for Milwaukee in the plus-minus ratings, and we spoke to him about the way he's been playing. What was the experience like to play out in California, play AHL games in California? Uh, it was really nice. Um, um, it was a different kind of play, too. Uh, I think they play a more um, um, tough game, mm -hmm. like they hit a lot and they, they fight, they, they do all that kind of stuff. But uh, except for the game, uh, we it's nice to go in the, where it's out a little bit outside and we had a great time with the, all the guys and it was pretty fun. Yeah. I, was, I was talking with Joe Piscula and he said that the, one of the big differences playing out west, there's a, there's like every whistle there's going to be a scrub, every single whistle. Is that what you found? Yeah, they're, yeah. I don't know why they're they're like a bit bigger. I think they're they got it up big guys and yeah, it's 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 a chubby kind of game all the time. Yeah, and do you like that? Yeah, I like it. I don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the few guys that say yeah, yeah, I like that. I don't I don't mind it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's, this last week, uh, you were featured in the latest Admirals All Access. Cameras following you around, your family around. What was that like for you? I really enjoyed it. It was really nice. Uh, I remember when I was. Uh, when I was watching, uh, you know, those 24/7 and all that mm -hmm. kind of thing, where it was pretty nice. I, I like, I enjoyed watching those show, and uh, it was nice for me to find, do it and uh, let the people know how it's like to be in the room and um, at home and all that stuff. So, when, when you know that's going on, do you, when you're doing this, do you know that the camera's always by you, or do you eventually forget and and kind of act like yourself? Because I'm sure cameras on me I better behave a little bit I'm gonna sit up a little straighter and things like that but eventually it uh, does it go away yeah the f I, I'd say the first first time you're uh, on camera like you, know, you don't really know what to do and uh, but uh, like after a couple of times it's, it's just normal you just do your normal thing and you don't worry about the cameras yeah. so much. It's kind of nice too because if people ask you a question, like you and I are doing right now, I ask you a question, and sometimes your your answer is short or whatever, but you can you can expand a little bit and give your thoughts a little bit more. I got to imagine. I don't know if everybody's looking for that, but maybe it's something you like. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't mind doing it. Uh, there's some you can see all the time when the camera is in the room. There's yeah. some guys that are just hiding from it yeah. and stuff. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't. It's nice. I, I like I like doing the. I, I really enjoyed doing the All Access. 20 straight games now against Central Division foes starting tonight with Rockford. You haven't seen it. For a while it seemed like it was nothing but Rockford. Now it's been a while since you've seen them. How do you get going tonight? Uh, you guys have had a little bit of a layoff here too, so get the legs going tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was really nice. We had uh, uh, a couple of weeks where we, we had practice and uh, we were just playing a weekend, so we got a bit of rest in us. And uh, Yeah, as you said, uh, it's been a while since we've seen them, but uh, we, we know them pretty good, so I think it's going to be a good uh, matchup tonight. I know, I know everybody wants to get back at it, and you know it's like, okay, we've, we've played so many games, let's get some rest. Well, now we've had so much practice, let's get back to some games. But it probably came at the perfect time for you, right? Middle of the season, you throw in the all-star break. I get to imagine in the NFL, you want your bye week around week nine, right in the middle of the year, so you yeah. can gear up for the end of the season. Do you guys feel the same way? Yeah, it's it's great timing for us. Um, uh, we had like a big push before uh, before the All Star break, and then we went into a couple of uh, weeks of rest, and uh, now it's time for another big push before the playoffs. So I think it was a great timing for us and to just rest now and then get get into a big month. Very good luck tonight. Thank you very All much. Right, that's Admiral's defenseman Jimmy Olney. Face-off tonight between the Admirals and Ice Hogs at the BMO Harris Bradley Center is at 7 o'clock. The first 2,500 fans coming through the doors will get a great-looking and nice, handy Brewers coffee mug. Pre-game coverage starting at 6.30 tonight on Sports Radio 105.7 FM, The Fan. You can watch the game online, ahllive.com. For a complete list of promotions coming up for the Admirals, go to milwaukeeadmirals.com.